Hey guys, it's CP Productions here. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to start your own shoe brand. So I've already done this and I'm actually working on my own. So you want to type in your search bar aliveshoes.com. So I'm here right now. So I already have an account and everything, but instead of saying start designing, it says apply now. So you basically have to apply. You have to answer a couple questions. Why do you want to do this? Uh... Do you have any backgrounds in entrepreneuring or anything like that? Uh, have you done any marketing or anything? And then it takes up to like 48 hours to um, approve of you. But once they do, they'll give you a password and everything. You can actually start designing. So I'm logged in already. So I'm going to click start designing. It's This stuff is, is made in Italy. So it's pretty nice. So I'm designing for my brand, Urban Vale. So, and it's like urban and street because Urban Vale. So let's just call these shoes YouTube shoes. My mic is shaking right now because my mic, my mic arm stand is pretty, um, it's pretty lanky and it shakes a lot. So I can't use that. Let's just put YT. Okay. I think that's going to work. So, describe about your brand. I'm just going to say blah, blah, blah. It's okay for now, but because I'm not going to uh, submit this yet. So, okay. So, you have to start with the base. You have to have pros for these, which basically mean you have to pay $100, just lifetime fee. That's it. And you get some more. So, then you start with these classic sneakers. You can design any of these. But the thing about you can most of these except for like the pro limited edition ones uh like this is the classic boat sneaker i already made one of those and i'm not gonna make it again because i don't want you guys to steal my idea but let's just um hmm i'm gonna use i'm gonna do these traditional slip-on ones okay so the retail price for these are 160 dollars they're kind of pricey but for everyone you sell you get 30 dollars so it's like, mm, <laughs> plus, yeah, they're made in Italy, like I already said, so they're pretty nice quality already. So, let's wait for this to load. <laughs> there we go. So then, these are all the parts of the shoe, and you design what you want to look them to look like. So, for example, if I want this to be gray, black, uh, uh, okay, and then this part to be that also, and then here, what about orange? Yeah, I kind of like that. And then this back part here. I want that to be gray. And soil red. <laughs> Yuck, that actually looks kind of gross. Um, kind of looks yucky also. I'm just going to use this classic white. So now you can add your logo to it. It's completely free. So you can upload your logo. But I recommend the Logo Wizard. Which they do. You add your brand name and everything. And there's different symbols and stuff. I use this one. Custom built filter uh where it's like whatever your shoe name is it says it right there and this is estate 1983 custom built footwear so i have one that says urban veil on it and it looks really sweet so if you see right here it shows it right there uh on some shoes it looks better than others but it looks okay on there but what you can also do is switch the colors around so let's see if that looks any better um you can kind of see it, and I don't. I like it the other way, but I'm just gonna move on. So now you can person personalize your box. It's completely free again. You can upload an image, but it's kind of annoying. You can see your logos right there, but I'm gonna go to cover image. So you can see all these here. I did urban, and then I went down. I use this, and then that. That looks pretty sweet, if you ask me. So. Basically, it's going to put that cover on the box. So, there you go. It looks pretty sweet. So, you're almost done. Create your shoes. So, now this is going to take some time because the software is, like, processing all of it and saves your design. So, let me explain some more about this. So, basically, the, um, the owners of this company actually have to, like, uh, see your shoes like make sure they're not like super ugly brown and pink and like disgusting so they're actually good and it's like worth their time to actually make these but uh you need seven pre-orders and once you get the seven pre-orders they start the production of them 
and then they'll ship them out to the people. But if you don't get seven orders in 30 days, they will cancel all of it and you have to make it again. So that's the only downside. But if you know how to make a crowd and everything and get people to buy it, it's all great. Second of all, if you can make your shoes really good, you can get it staff picked and then you can actually get one of yours for free. That's what happened with mine. But because I only I don't have enough pre-orders. Um, so I don't have enough pre-orders at the time. Um, uh, I, I don't actually get them yet until I get the seven. So in order to continue, you go to dashboard release. So it looks like for pro, you get some like extra stuff. I think I already have a shoe on my dashboard. Let's look at this. Fill load. <laughs> okay. Chrissy, blah, blah, blah. So shoes on sale. See, this is the shoe, the first shoe I made. Uh, actually got staff picked, so I got a free pair. They emailed me, and they really liked them. And then I got a free coupon for my own. I just need some more people to buy them. <laughs> but they're pretty pricey, so if you actually want to buy these, that would mean a lot. <laughs> okay, it looks like it's still loading, because it's going to take some time. Yeah, it's a staff pick. I only have one of the seven pre-orders. Pre it is me, so it's kind of sad. <laughs> And you can protect your design, so you get, like, uh, it's for $30, so nobody else can, like, make the same design up, basically. And then I have two shoes, uh, in draft right now, I guess. So I have these other, they're basically the same, because I just repeated on the other thing. So once you put your draft up, uh, the design's complete, uh, you actually have to send it to them. And then once they approve of it, it will be on sale, basically. And then, again, once every, and then you get your own website and everything for, like, the first 30 days until you actually get the seven pairs. And then you keep the website, I'm pretty sure. But, uh, I can click view my shoes. And then, here, this is my site. So, I only have one of the seven pre-orders, but these are my shoes made in Italy, made by me. Pretty expensive and everything, but... You know, and then it says whatever um, you said about, um, I said high quality fresh shoes that are good for streetwear uh, for like description. And that's what I put in and I put that on the website. <laughs> and yeah, they're pretty expensive and stuff and it shows the box and everything. So it's pretty nice. So if you actually get your shoes to do well and people like them, you can get a free pair basically. And you can send it to everybody. So, I would recommend this if you can get at least seven pre-orders. Because if you can't get it in 30 days, basically, it means that they're going to, like, delete the site and everything. And you have to rebuild the shoe and do it again. So, just to make sure. Because if they didn't do that for, like, thousands of people who, like, made their shoes, it would clog up, like, all the servers and everything. And they wouldn't have, like, any space. It would just be a disaster. So, you have to get, uh, the seven pre-orders in the first 30 days. It's, it's kind of annoying, but, I mean, you get $30 for each pair, and if you know how to attract a crowd, it's, um, it's a really good idea. So, you protect your design statistics about the shoe. I don't know why I clicked that. <laughs> so, let's see what happens. Okay. Hmm. There's not really any statistics. So, one bot, total sold, profits earned. Okay. <laughs> That's it. So, there's coupons, but these coupons, they get taken away from the money you earn. It says, use one of these coupons below to promote your shoes to special important people. And then, it says, no, these extra coupons can be used multiple times, but the money, but the amount will be deducted from your profits. So, if you do want to buy my shoes, you could just use that one of those links so if you do use the $30 coupon I'm not gonna get any money from them but <laughs> I just need the seven orders and everything so it's pretty nice and if you buy if someone buys one of your shoes and you don't get the seven pre-orders they just get their money back obviously so it's a really really cool um software I would really recommend it so I want to thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to. So, thanks. <laughs>